Paris disputes a third European party has to decide. And this works wonderfully elsewhere, by the way. Igor Natal participates in the crowdsourcing code of conduct. This is a voluntary commitment about social standards by crowdworking platforms. We have such an arbitration board and it works well. So I hope YouTube is listening. I mean, there's a lot of creators who are unhappy with what's happening, right? Take, for instance, Keemstar, a very popular YouTuber. He just put out this tweet, YouTube is becoming impossible. I had to read it twice due to false copyright claims, removing two clips, then I finally get it up, and then Team YouTube demonetize it due to a fake fight clip. It's not even a real fight. The people in control are ruining the site. And then... He says, I am one step away from joining the YouTubers Union. Well, Keemstar, we are waiting for you. Pootie Pie, we are waiting for you. Everybody who is in the YouTube creator sphere, we are waiting for you to join this entity. Even though this is in Europe, we need to have all hands on deck for this. Now, they say here that most importantly in the video, Sprave says that content creators want to be included in the company's decision-making process, such as through the creation of a formal advisory board. Now here's more, let's go. The entire success of the company depends on the creative output of the YouTubers. Therefore, it is only fair that YouTubers can also participate in the decision-making and the future of the platform. We demand the establishment of an advisory board that is fully integrated in all decision-making and has something to say about that, participate Process. These are our demands, and our goal is to implement them as soon as possible. And now, pay attention, C-level managers at YouTube, you have exactly four weeks to enter into negotiations with us. Take talk. And there's your depression. Not just one symptom, there's lots of symptoms holding you back. And you're just a... Uh, Dent on your couch. Done. Then your doctor tells you about Trintelix, a prescription medicine for adults with depression. And you feel this overall relief. Cool. And this info about sexual side effects. Patients changing from some antidepressants to Trintelix experienced improvement in problems with sexual desire, arousal, and orgasm. More than patients changing to Lexapro, also known as Escitalopram. Some sexual side effects have been reported with Trintelix. Tell your doctor right away if you have worsening depression, unusual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Do not take with MAOIs. Tell your doctor about your medications, including migraines, psychiatric, and depression medications, to avoid a potentially life-threatening condition. Increased risk of bleeding and bruising may occur, especially if taken with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners. Manic episodes or vision problems may occur in some people. May cause low sodium levels. Common side effects... Kind of a weird game. I don't know if I like it. Certainly, the clock is ticking. Now, they state here, if YouTube fails to respond to FairTube's demands by August 23rd, the campaign has multiple strategies to enact some severe consequences. And one of those consequences could be a $53 billion fine. And that would be devastating to YouTube. Let's watch. We have three main powerful strategies. Two of them are for the lawyers. And one of them is based on your participation, plus also lots of smaller topics and issues. First, there is the issue of potential false self-employment of the YouTubers. This one is going to crush them. This, now remember, this is happening in Europe, but it will have spillover effect into the United States, and that's why we need to get as many people in the United States on board. Watch this. Wait to hear this. That is pure dynamite. But because the issue is rather complex, we have an expert here, Dr. Thomas Kleber, certainly one of the most renowned experts on labor law in Europe. Thomas, what is false self-employment? Thanks a lot for your generous introduction. False self-employment means that someone is working as a self-employed person but in fact, they are an employee with all the protection employees have, like uh, protection 
against unfair dismissals, vacation, and social security. There is some evidence that YouTuber may be falsely self-employed. For example, they are continuously rated and monitored by YouTube, and only YouTube manages the relationship with advertisers. And if you take well, they better get that crap fixed about the working relationship into account, it's hard to say that these are independent video producers. And if it turns out in court that YouTubers are indeed falsely self-employed, what consequences would that have for YouTube? Well, then the YouTubers would be employees with all the protections and benefits, and, they, and that would be very, very expensive for YouTube, especially when you take into regard the social insurances. But that means it would really threaten the whole business model. That is why we want to see our demands met. If YouTube meets them, then YouTubers will be real partners. So this is running pretty fast, friends. It's very fast. I'm checking right now as that clip was playing. And Gadget just posted something. Gizmodo, Observer, The Daily Caller also has reported on this. YouTubers are unionizing. The site has 24 days to respond. YouTubers team up with Europe's largest trade union. YouTube faces backlash from YouTubers' union seven hours ago. YouTubers union not messing around. I mean, this is huge, friends. This is huge. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. And that's just that was just one of the consequences with the false self-employment. There's another one that's regarding how YouTube uses your data, the data you give them, and how they process that data, and they have to be transparent in how that data is processed. That's already existing law. But to take that into court, they have to reveal to each YouTuber exactly how their data is being sifted, filtered, and run through the algorithms, and suppressed, and transferred, or, or shared, or not. And that's another consequence. So, um, we will link to this video, the full video, on our community tab. If you don't know the community tab, it'll be uh, it's, you go to the main channel page, click on community, and we will link to uh, the full video here. It's about 15 minutes. Uh, we only showed a couple clips. But YouTube, again, could be looking at a $54 billion fine if found guilty of false uh, self-employment in the European Union. That could have devastating consequences. But it doesn't have to be that way. Okay? YouTubers simply want to have transparency. We want to have communication.